Hi friends, this video is another sound check. I've been pretty busy, uh, busy tweaking settings of uh, all the audio tools I got installed on my Windows 10 computer. Uh, and I've been happy with the result. Uh, I now have a software which lets me create virtual devices, virtual sound devices, and route all my physical hardware through it. And the results are pretty neat. Uh, so let me zoom in on the interface and show you what settings you need to make to be able to record multi-track into a DAW with it. So the software is called Voice Meter. Uh, it's the newest version called Potato. And uh, yeah, what you need to do in order to get it to work with uh, multi-track interfaces is set your hardware device to composite mode, very important, and also get your virtual inputs, outputs, virtual devices, uh, also set into composite mode. Uh, in this case, I'm using just the B1 device, which is the voice meter VAIO. <coughs> now let me switch to the settings page to show you, show you what settings you need to tweak. This is very important. Here, first of all, you need to set your device to ASIO mode and uh, to your physical device to ASIO mode and get all the inputs patched through. Uh, in this case, my device is a Firewire audio interface and only has four inputs, which I've brought it here, one through four. And the important thing you need to do in order to have multi-track recordings going on is this thing, patch composite. Uh, I've set the first four channels to the bus uh, in order to get my system audio routed through and uh, have a stereo mix channel. And now uh, the, the four to eight are routed to my inputs, which is... Um, uh, Input channel one is my microphone, which you're listening to right now. And because it's a mono source, I've set the second channel also to input one. And uh, channels seven to eight are my synthesizer, uh, one of my synthesizers, which I've routed through. And the results are pretty good. Let me zoom out again. Oh no. Uh, then the the first thing you need to do uh, on your system is to get the correct inputs and outputs from the sound settings of the old control panel. Let me zoom in once more. Go to playback devices and you have to select voice meter input as a playback device and voice meter output put as an input device, as a recording device. And that's pretty much all you need to do. Uh, then you just uh, get your hardware inputs to go to a virtual device, in this case B1, which is voice meter VAIO. And uh, the other thing you need to do to get your system audio to play back is get on the VAIO device and turn B1 on. And this concludes the settings you need to make on voice meter. Uh, you can do other things uh, as well, such as set the sampling rate for your audio interface. But now let's proceed with the uh, sound check. Let's see if you can hear my synthesizer. <laughs> Majestic, isn't it? Now let's see if uh, Windows Audio works. Mm. Now, let's see 
let's see what you need to do to get your DAW recording multi-track. In this case, I'm using Bitwig 8-track, which I got for free. And uh, let me zoom in once more to go to the settings page. Yeah, uh, of course you need to select the voice meter virtual Aussie uh, device. And then you need to add stereo input buses. Uh, in this case, I've only used one and two, which are the stereo mix and uh, uh, which I use in order to record many things on the same stereo channel. And then I've set channels 5, 6, 7 and 8 to input 1, 2 and input 3 and 4. And that's pretty much all you need to do. Now let's play back a track. Okay, this should be enough. Thanks for watching. Bye.